Hello. Hi, everybody. <laughs> so, hi, hi, hi. I'm Hal. This is Kate. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Um, you can yeah. introduce each other, though. I like doing that. Yeah, OK. So, well, like, go. This, is, this is Kate. Um, Kate is 20, ooh, 28. Yeah, it rhymes with my name. Nice. Kate is 28. Yeah. Um, Kate likes snakes. <laughs> we're, just, we're making a poem here. Kate yeah. likes snakes, it's true. Not people who are like snakes, but real live snakes. I do like And snakes. Kate is from Portland, Oregon, originally. Um, and now lives in Bologna. And what? near Bologna, not mm -hmm. Bologna, Bologna, right? So I can't remember the name of the village. I'm sorry. Just think um, of it's San Giovanni and Persticetto. It's like St. George and the Peach Tree. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And um, has been in Bologna for just over a year now, or has been working at Mayas? No, in Bologna also. Working at Mayas for over a year, living in Italy for three and a half years. Okay. Where did you live for? Um, um, uh, America. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I've been in Italy for three and a half years. Okay. Um, and this is Hal Kos, full government name. Look him up. His social, um, his fiscal code is just <laughs> all, the um, <laughs> all the details. Um, no, this is Hal. He is originally from uh, uh, England, specifically from Surrey, the uh -huh. area. Um, I have no idea where it is, but it's it's in England. I know that. Yeah, um, and what else? Well, he is 26 years old, uh -huh. right? Yeah. And um, he, I don't know. What did you say you're afraid of? He doesn't like snakes. He doesn't, doesn't like spiders it. either. Mm, yeah. The way they move. Specifically. Yeah, specifically the movement. It's the movement. If they're still, it's fine. Um, <laughs> it's okay. And what else? Uh, yeah, so what else do I know about you? You. So I will also, that unlike you, I'm new to Bologna and Italy and Mayas. Yes, he is. He is like, new to um, Mayas, new to Bologna, new to Italy. He is our, but he is fantastic. How is thank wonderful. You. Thank yeah. you. You're welcome. Um, I chose to move here at the same time as the horseman of the apocalypse. And now <laughs> I'm, now I'm here. But I'm so I, I started working at Myers just before this happened, guys, and I'm very happy to be here with you all. Yes, it's yeah. fantastic. We took him under our wing like a baby bird. Nice and then, them. Write that down for them uh, to take someone under their wing. Oh, that's a good one. All right, to take someone under your wing. Okay, okay. it means to take uh, care of, or to care for someone mm -hmm. or someone like literally care for them. So in this case, maybe we took him in, we gave him food and shelter, and <laughs> we gave him a job, and then we said, it's going to be okay, how? Yeah, exactly. Under your wing, protecting under, me. Under your wing. So, so yes, yes, fantastic. fantastic. Welcome. Um, we have a question for you guys. So if you want to answer us in the comments, we will answer as well. Uh, what is the best season for fashion and why? How? Right, because we have a disagreement here, right? I mm -hmm. think I might even be more extreme. I think maybe winter. I'm just gonna go go all in and say winter. I love a coat. I love a good coat. I think if you have a good coat, you're you're fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I love um, high neck jumpers or just jumpers in general, but mm -hmm. high neck. Um, turtleneck. Yes. Yeah. Um, I love all of the accessories in winter, like hats. I don't really wear hats, but hats, scarves, gloves. You know, you can kind of add lots of detail. Mm -hmm. um, I love. I'm going to keep going. I love that in winter, you can sort of change your look because if you're outside, you're wearing everything. Then you come in and you've got. You take a layer off, a layer off, and then you have another little outfit. And maybe if it's hot indoors, because you have the heating on, you take another layer off. And, you know, yeah. there's a few things going on. Oh. Um, I think that's it, winter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So winter for how fantastic. Um, Olga says, hello, hello. Welcome Hi. to the Lovely stream, to Olga. Yeah, nice to see you, nice to see you. 
Um, also, I put this down. So in in the UK, uh, a jumper in the UK and in uh, America, we call it a sweater, but it's the same thing. It's the same thing. Okay, USA, and I should put that there as well. Um, doo -doo. And Olga says, I think all seasons are good for fashion. Don't forget your verb to be. But yes, I definitely agree with you, Olga. However, I think summer. Summer is the best season yeah. for fashion. I love high-waisted shorts. Okay. Mm -hmm. Love a good short. I love the sun dresses. So for me, one of my favorite things to do is to just wear a nice classic floral dress yeah. with um, a, a, like a bit of a cinched waist or a tie at the waist. Uh -huh. And it's nice and breezy, maybe a good hat. I love a good straw hat. Uh -huh. um, and I see it. so it's sunny and I love the sun. So I love to feel the sun on my skin and my face. And so I love a good tank top as well. Yeah. That sounds yeah. great. Yeah. Oh, Hi, Luca. Mm -hmm. okay. You're more than welcome. We're going to be talking about clothes nonstop. So, Luca, tell us, do you have a favorite season? Also, Olga, I know you said that you think all seasons are good for fashion, but is there a season that you prefer? For you. But I agree. I agree that there are, you know, advantages. There are good things about all seasons. Mm -hmm. But for me, I, I don't like dressing in the summer. <laughs> yeah, I understand. I do dress. I mean, I find it difficult. Um, <laughs> I, do I, I do dress i do dress in the summer but i don't really like it um mm. whereas the winter oh gosh mm. i mean i do like the winter i will say a good i agree with you that i love scarves and sweaters and coats um but it gets a little bit um annoying for me with global mm. warming because I will put on a heavy jacket, then one day for some strange reason it's hot, so I have to take off yeah. my heavy jacket. I have yeah, to yeah. Put it on sometimes in the mornings it's quite cold, yeah. and in the afternoons yeah, yeah. it's quite warm. I don't understand. That's often like a crazy problem in like October or March, right? When the seasons are changing mm -hmm. and you don't really know what the weather will be like. And you go to work and then you're like, it's so hot in here. <laughs> and you're sweating, <laughs> sort of take stuff off, put it on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's right. right. Like I wear a light jacket in the afternoon, then I work to the yeah. late evening, I come out, it's freezing cold. Freezing, exactly. Oh, oh. You have to go have a good cocktail and then you don't feel the cold anymore. There we go. It's a good there, we go. there we are. Um, yeah. So for you guys, what is, in your opinion, the best season for fashion for you personally and why? Um, definitely. One thing that I don't like, however, is mm -hmm. shopping for clothes in, in the summer in general oh I don't. interesting yeah well because, then, buying clothes four to five kate doesn't like buying clothes that's she it doesn't like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't like buying clothes because well, as, I, I have, as a female identifying person i have to mm -hmm. say going to a shop and putting on a, a dress going to the dressing room seeing that you hate it then uh -huh. trying another and another, and another, never being able to find the right pants. Yeah. Leaving. Talk, yeah, sorry, go. No, go ahead. <laughs> I was gonna say, let's talk about the lighting in, in changing rooms. What is this? What is this? What's going on, guys? Why in the world, why on earth, do you all, not all, but almost all, changing mm -hmm. rooms, which if you're tuning in, changing rooms where you change your clothes in the shop to see if you look good, Mm -hmm. They always have such horrible lighting, like a kind of toilet light, like bathroom light, really strong and white. Yeah, exactly. Awful. It doesn't make any sense because mm -hmm. usually, like you said, you try something on and it doesn't look good and you feel mm -hmm. horrible about it. Yeah. So the changing rooms are the place where you try clothes in a shop. So you go into the, ah, you go into a booth right in this little area you pull the curtain and you try the clothes but yes mm -hmm. the light inside is the worst it reminds me 
it reminds me of the um the lights in school in like high school yeah or like an airport somewhere very clinical <laughs> very yeah it's so strange uh, because when you when you find a shop which is very rare that, that has nice lighting in the changing room it's really amazing and you're like wow why don't soft light with lamps you know low soft light mm -hmm. then they will buy the clothes yeah exactly so if anyone out here if anyone out there listening owns a clothes shop for goodness sake don't make the light in your changing rooms nice Yes, please. Just go in there one time and see what it's like, because I don't believe they know. Yeah, so there's no way that you can, like, if you actually want people to buy the clothes, use yeah. a ring light or use, like, warm lighting, maybe, uh, yeah. or something. You know, try different things, change it up. Anyway, Luca. <laughs> yes, I think the best season for fashion is spring, because it's better buying clothes when it's not cold. Ah, I see. So you go and get new fashion, mm -hmm. and it's nice to buy clothes when it's not cold. I agree. I like buying clothes in the spring, but I, I don't like buying clothes not in the spring. In summer, when it's really hot, there's something very stressful about clothes shopping or shopping mm -hmm. in general. Mm -hmm. When it, it's like hot, and you just you just don't want to be going in and out of stores and taking things off. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, that is yeah. true. I will agree with that, though. I do. I I don't know, though. I like going into a nice, cool Tens Nice, where mm. it's like, um, or Tens Zenis, whatever you prefer. And um, I go in there, and there's air conditioning, and now I feel fine to try. Clothes. Yeah, okay. It's like an right. escape from the <laughs> from the hot. Um, ooh. Olga says, "Okay, autumn. You can wear a long coat with a long dress and heels." Yes. That's what I mean. That's classic. Yeah. And then you're then you're then you're done. That's it. Looks I great. have to say, Olga, I think judging from your profile picture, that you would look great also with the long coat and dress, but you should also wear a hat in the autumn. I so never like wear a long that. trench coat with yeah. like long maybe for you, you look kind of like maybe a dark green, maybe also with a long brim like the wide brim hat would be quite nice on you, so. Fashion. Do you wear a hat? I do love a good hat. Um, yes, I. Italy is a little strange. So here in Italy, um, most hat, like I like a good summer hat, but I think um, most of my hats are autumn or winter hats only. Like I have okay, some yeah. berets or nice, um, I don't know what they call them, but they're hats that are a bit tall in the front and sloped in the back. They're, yeah. And I like them a lot, but it's only for autumn and winter, so I don't get many yeah. opportunities to wear them. Okay. Sad. <laughs> and you don't wear hats uh, inside. No, you don't wear hats inside here. No. Never. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. Anyway. Oh no. <laughs> and I always want to wear a hat. Um, good. So why don't we take a look at our activity? This is a fantastic conversation, though. Uh, buying clothes. Buying clothes. My clothes. So, why don't you go ahead and read for me how? The thing, asking where things are, trying on clothes, and paying in a shop. All right. So, ta -da. we have some vocabulary here. Will you read for me? Sure thing. The vocabulary is shoes, jumper, shirt, jeans, boots, top, dress, skirt. Mm. So go ahead in the comments, uh, match the words on the left to the pictures on the right. right. So for example, A, what is that? Um, let us know and we can have also a chat about what you think is the nicest in these pictures. I personally mm -hmm. love those boots. Yes, although I'm, I can't quite, are they brown or black would you say? Brown. You give it a dark, dark brown. <laughs> yes, I agree that they're uh, they are brown. And yes, A is a skirt. A Perfect. is a skirt. B is Perfect. a shirt. Ah, there we go. Ah, <laughs> good. I, Perfect. I quite like the jumper, but I wish it didn't have the light, the turquoise in it. Yeah, really it yeah. I think it makes it quite nineties. You know, yeah. like really fresh Prince of Bel Air. Okay. So yeah. 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 Wonderful. Okay. Sure. The boots. Olga is a fashion master. Okay. Exactly. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. 
That's Ooh. right. Ooh, it was cute. Um, <laughs> issues. Well done. Deep boots. Well done, Luca, as well. Good. Um, we, oh, I clicked one too many. F jumper. She got it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well done. Again, in the USA, it's called a sweater. So if I scroll up very quickly, remember, in it is a jumper in England. It is a sweater in the United States. Um, a sweater. A sweater. Um, yes, yeah, great. Mm -hmm, great. Good. Jeez, ah, perfect. And can we talk about the word, because I think this is a very useful word, which maybe people don't often know, which is outfit. Your mm. outfit. It's very useful and it's a bit strange, but mm -hmm. outfit is all of the clothes you are wearing today. Mm -hmm. If you say to someone, I like your outfit, you're not saying I like your skirt or I like your boots. You're saying I like your boots, your skirt, your shirt, your hat, all together. I like your mm -hmm. outfit clothes you have on exactly very well done mm -hmm. yeah the outfit all of the clothes you have together good yeah, yeah. it's a well, good outfit um yeah you never use the word jumper maybe you prefer sweater honestly they are the same so it's really about if you prefer uh british english or if you prefer american english or south african english or whatever whatever kind of english you prefer Australian English. English. Yeah, I'll be English high. <laughs> Poor <laughs> um, Good. So, go ahead and read for me how. Sure. Shopping for clothes. Where, how often, what, when, with who, and favorite. Mm. <laughs> so, what we would like you to do is in the comments, we would like you to make some questions using these question words. Now, when we make questions, try to remember the quasi trick. Just, you know the quasi trick. Mm -hmm. Okay, what is it? What okay is you're it? testing me. Question mm -hmm. word. Mm -hmm. you, um, auxiliary. Mm -hmm. So the helping verb, the supporting verb. Mm -hmm. Q, Q, U, A, subject. Mm -hmm. And then is I information? Infinitive. Like infinitive. Uh -huh. Yeah. Great, so we want to have, exactly. We want to have a question word. So where, for example, an auxiliary. So do or does if it's third person and subject infinitive. Like Luca says it. Go ahead, Hal. Perfect. Where do you usually go shopping? Perfect. Perfect. And perfect. so, yeah, it's the same. And I'll go as well. Where do you go shopping? Perfect, perfect. 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 Um, really good questions. Should we answer the questions as well? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. So where do you go shopping, Hal? I don't go shopping much. Here in Bologna, I haven't gone shopping much, really. But there's a nice second-hand store near my mm -hmm. apartment. What is it called? You, um, I think it's just called, like, my car. It's called, like secondhand market it literally doesn't have the name it's on a little street but mm. it's really good because i find in italy or i've noticed in bologna anyway i can't generalize that in the uk there are loads of great charity shops which mm -hmm. are not vintage stores they're like just for charity so people give in clothes and things that they don't want and mm. you can buy them and you can buy them so cheap. I used to live in Manchester near a shop where you could buy any item of clothing for one pound. One pound. Really? Yes. Most of it was terrible. But the point <laughs> is, you could go and look and find something great secondhand. Mm -hmm. Whereas in Bologna, I don't know if you've noticed this, but there are, there are a few like vintage shops, but they're mm -hmm. quite expensive and they're often, yeah. they're often quite mm -hmm. fancy. Yeah, exactly. So I, I like them, but I don't go there that often. So I'm going to say I go shopping to the secondhand store near my apartment mm -hmm. okay good so i'll go ahead and put that as well secondhand shop or a charity shop a shop where people give the clothing they don't want to the shop for free and the shop sells that clothing for uh very little money exactly Ta -da! okay how about you 
Um, I love secondhand shopping, and that is one thing I miss about Portland as well. Yeah. Is Even vintage. I know Portland is a vintage heaven. Yes. So, well, Portland is a very interesting city because it has very, um, it's like neighborhood oriented. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of subculture or alternative right. culture, but it depends on the neighborhood. Like Alberta, for example, is quite like artistic where when you think of vintage, you think of Hawthorne, which is the, a different neighborhood uh, where you can go and there are so many charity shops and secondhand stores and, and vintage clothing shops. And this was quite trendy in Portland. So um, you would, wouldn't would spend a lot of money and you just try to find things that are unique or different. And um, it was wild. So like animal prints, anything you can imagine, like yeah. fringe, people loved it. Um, Love it. Oh my Olga. gosh. Amazing. Olga. Great. How often do you go shopping perfect? What do you buy when shopping? Mm -hmm. Yeah, or what do you buy at the shop? Remember, yeah. we need a location or we need a time. When do you go shopping? No two. Who do you go shopping with? Perfect. And what is your favorite shop? Fantastic. Yeah, Ooh. we have this, this is quite common, I think, this difference mm -hmm. between. So buy at the shops, the shops, right? Or go to the shops. Or we just say go shopping, like you said, without um, the preposition. It's often yes. quite confusing. So to go mm -hmm. shopping or go to the shops. Exactly. Go I mean, to the shops. Basically mean the same thing, I would say. Mm -hmm. yeah. But one puts the... So yeah. focus on the activity. Right. For, and the other one is focus on the location. Mm -hmm. So in the end, it is the same thing. Like the con the the result at the end is the same, but yeah, it's just about when you where you want to put the focus in mm -hmm. the sentence. Um, oh, yeah. about the type of shopping. Oh, what, is favorite... what is your favorite type of shopping? Yeah, yeah. That's good. What is your favorite type of shopping? Um, Luca says, when I have money, go to Vico Lungo. It's near my city. Yeah. So you see the Vico Lungo outlet. The Vico Lungo outlet. We need that nice. definite article because it's a specific place. So we need the. Okay. Yeah. So let's, let's answer some of these questions. Love it. Um, what do you buy shopping usually? How? Me? Um, usually books. Hmm. But if you're talking about clothes, since we're here to talk about clothes, mm -hmm. I, I am obsessed with um, turtlenecks. You are obsessed. So uh, what is a turtleneck? One more time. A turtleneck. Or we, so I, I get confused because there's turtleneck mm -hmm. and there's... Um, a roll neck, right? Mm, yeah. I think well, there's a slight difference, but eh. I would say turtleneck, turtleneck. Mm -hmm. yeah, and they're right. jumpers that, like this, guys come up the neck here. Mm -hmm. And I love them. And I think I look good in them. <laughs> More yeah. um, Thank you. So I, so I, but I, I think it's become a problem because I now own like, I don't know, probably at the moment, like a dozen of them or like 10 of them. Mm -hmm. And so when I go shopping, actually, now I try not to go and just buy another turtleneck because mm -hmm. I, my eye gets, in, a, in a vintage shop, my eye gets drawn to them immediately. Like, I just mm -hmm. look for that shape. Mm -hmm. Now I have so many, I, I'm trying to not do that and buy other things. So maybe a, a nice shirt as well. Mm -hmm. um, a good shirt, yeah. I never buy shoes, ever, ever. Mm -hmm. I'm one of those people who I buy a pair of shoes. I have one pair of shoes. I wear those shoes for like a year and a half until they are completely broken, and then I buy another pair. Me too. Yeah, you do. I love mm -hmm. it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't ever go like shoe shopping. No, <clears throat> no. no. How about you? What do you buy? I buy. Um, I love high waisted things, so mm. I'm always buying high waisted skirts, high waisted pants, high waisted everything. Um, and I also really like um, pants that are drawn at the ankle because I'm yeah, quite short. 
Uh -huh. <laughs> so um, for me, it's often that I'll find a pair of pants that I really like, but they're too long. Oh. So to have them drawn at the ankle just yeah. eliminates that problem for me completely. Yeah. It's a really lovely look as well. I like. I that. think so, yeah. yeah. Thank you. I like oh, to do shop online shopping. Ah, I love online shopping for buying. For buying, so after the preposition, gerund. For yeah. buying clothes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we haven't actually mentioned that. Maybe you and I, Kate, are quite old school because I don't often buy clothes online. I sometimes look at some clothes online and then I, then I inevitably decide, no, I don't really need their stock. Yeah, I feel the same way. Or I've had bad experiences. Like yeah. I, I went to actually visit London uh, years uh -huh. ago, and I bought some things from Amazon because I was in a bit of a hurry, and it was off season, so I knew I wasn't going to find anything in the shops. Mm -hmm. um, and so I got some dresses, and some of them worked out, but some of them, I was like, no, this was definitely a mistake. The material is a lot different than what I saw in the pictures. I, yeah. just don't, I don't like it. Yeah, because for me, clothes shopping, I love being able to feel the, mm -hmm. the, the, the texture, the texture, the feel of clothing mm -hmm. is really important to me. Yeah. So online, you just don't know, do you? No. No exactly. idea. And, and yeah. for me, it's just like, I, I have a specific thing where, I mean, just like every other person, um, I don't know if it's going to be good or suitable for my shape until I try it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay, I usually buy jeans, shoes, t-shirts, and shirts. It depends on the season. We are in. in. Perfect. Yeah, the Go season we are in. Good, okay. But yeah, Olga is a, an online shopper. Good for you. My sister is crazy on online shops. Really? Yeah, oh my goodness. And I also have a friend who I actually really admire, who in many ways, but specifically because she's, she's a kind of eBay queen. And she mm -hmm. constantly has the most um, incredible outfits. She, mm -hmm. Her clothes are incredible. And always it's because she's found them on, on eBay somehow. And <laughs> I want, or like on her computer, you know, she has all of these tabs constantly open. She sells stuff sometimes as well. And she's just very involved with that like world of like secondhand vintage stuff on eBay, mm -hmm. which, and it clearly works because her clothes are always really incredible and unusual and um and she's not like a kind of normal not normal but a standard shape either like body mm -hmm. shape but she clearly can see something and know that it'll fit her wow so, ebay, yeah. queen. EBay queen ebay queen exactly All right. ebay. okay my size is extra small sometimes super extra small for me online shopping is good I see, yes, I see. Olga, yeah. So it's always, right, you go and you see everything is sold except yeah. for extra small. So you yeah. are like, this is my moment. Yeah, and usually it will be reduced now. Mm -hmm. like reduced, yeah. there'll be a discount. Yeah, a discount. Fantastic. It's your moment, it's your moment. Yeah. How about pants, are they the same as jeans? Good question. No. no. Well, <laughs> jeans, are a type, jeans are a type of pants. No. Special type yeah, so of pants. Or trousers. Exactly. Pants is the category. And then I think, and I don't know, this is just the way that I, I think about it. Yeah. Um, so then we have trousers, which are like dress pants. Uh -huh. And um, then we have jeans, which are like denim. Sure. Like, but me being British, I would just say trousers instead of pants, I guess. Yes, because pants are underwear in England. Yes, exactly. Exactly. So, okay. um, our underwear. Okay. Yeah, so it was a thing in the 90s in England where you guys would be like, oh, pants. Yes, this is true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> pants, damn. Um, but yeah, and so to me, jeans are a type of trousers. Trouser. Trouser. Yeah. But um, I, I also know what you mean because trousers in my head is also quite smart or quite more formal than jeans usually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. think of it this way trousers are formal, um, jeans are informal, and pants are 
the category in America and their underwear in England. Mm -hmm. And joggers, yeah. Good job, Olga. Joggers or sweatpants? Yeah, joggers or sweatpants. So joggers mm -hmm. in England, sweatpants in America. Um, mm -hmm. I like British English better. I don't know. Maybe it's because it's different. But I think it's different. I love Americanisms myself. Really? So, so yeah. let's just trade. Let's just do a, um, a tandem. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> let's do a swap meet um, with vocabulary. It's just the, the fun of something unusual, no? Yeah, exactly. I know. I learned a, a, a bit of Cockney rhyming slang the last time Ooh. I was in London, and that was super fun. Yeah. Wow. Like I didn't know like a like um an American's like a yank, which is short for mm -hmm. Yankee, so they call us a septic tank, which is like a damn yank. Damn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. damn, damn yank. Um what else can we say? What else can we answer? With who? With who? Who do you, do you usually with? go shopping? Um I I don't I like going shopping on my own. Me too. Because I like to do it quickly, focused. And it's not like I don't in, my in sister, for example, thinks of it as a kind of activity to her she, she can go shopping on the weekend and that will be like what she did at the weekend which is fine but not for me no uh, me either i can't do it either a, not an activity it's just a, something i have to do yeah i agree yeah it's not really for me either it's more like you have to be goal oriented to get it done and not as much. yeah wait so when you go shopping for clothes do you is it often like you have a thing in mind, you're like, oh, I need a new jumper or I need a dress for the summer? Kind or are you more kind of, I just want to spend two hours looking and see? No. Okay. I'm, I, I will say that I'm in between a bit, but mostly oh. it's that I know I need something. Yeah. Usually I, um, but I'm just more in general. So I'll say, oh, I need some more summer clothes, probably shorts, maybe some tank tops, that kind of thing. But um, I still have an objective. So yeah. I try to like locate the shops I think mm -hmm. are going to have those things. I get in there, I try them on, I get out, done. Yeah. Um, and yeah. I think the only thing that I enjoy spending time shopping, and I still, I don't spend, maybe I spend 30 minutes is like in Lush or like shopping for makeup in like Douglas or Sephora. Oh. Okay. I can spend, spend money on makeup and on makeup. looks and self-care but the rest yeah. is yeah. okay i usually that sounds like me the first bit not the, not the makeup i usually have a vague objective but then what happens kate is that i go in and i come out with three turtlenecks <laughs> 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 even though i said okay i need to go and get some i don't know short no i never wear shorts but i need to go and get some trousers or something yeah i will inevitably return with another turtleneck okay well if you ever want to go shopping together i'm just going to say all right every time i look at my turtleneck you can pinch no. me or, no yeah. put it back yeah. now put it oh down. i forgot also there's the market in bologna mm -hmm. on fridays and saturdays and that can be fun just to browse a bit yeah 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 Ooh. if you're kind mm -hmm. of walking through up in the kind of, I'm thinking of, there's one corner in particular that has some fairly interesting vintage stuff. Like near the Montagnola? Yeah. Yeah. Up there. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not the best. I mean, compared to Portland, it sounds like. Also in London, there's some amazing, mm. they're, quite, they're usually incredibly expensive. But mm -hmm. um, there's like Brick Lane, which is in the east end of London. East end. Um, yeah, which has like a whole street of, of these vintage shops. So no yeah i'd love to do that well one day when our friendship grows maybe i'll like pack a stowaway in your suitcase yeah, or something. This, yeah. i really want to go back to london yeah we'll go to london and run down brick lane post do it, do it. quarantine right. olga i go okay i go to the shops or i go mm -hmm. shopping mm -hmm. with my boyfriend i have, i have a memory like a fish lovely um, for three seconds, he reminds me. What? So you're like, you look at something and you like it, and then you walk off. Yeah. Yeah. And then he reminds you, hey, you wanted to buy that. Yeah. Or, yeah. Remember, like a fish. Great. I love that. That's a fantastic metaphor. That's so yeah. good. It's so so good. It's like I have a memory like a fish. I'm gonna steal it. So maybe also it's like she says, oh, I need. I need, just ah, I need this, and then, and then she's just 
browsing, browsing, and he's like, didn't you say you needed trousers? Right, right, right. Yeah. Okay, Lucas says. I usually go shopping on my own, but sometimes with my friends. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's nice. Good. Um, I quite like, you know what I do like? I mm. like going shopping with someone when I don't want to buy anything. Mm. They are looking for a very specific thing, like a mm. friend's uh, dress for some event, maybe. Mm -hmm. I like going along. It's quite fun. When you're mm -hmm. maybe you're not involved, you're like, whatever, I don't want to buy anything. But you can spend maybe an hour with this person if you mm -hmm. go friend. That can be quite entertaining. I don't yeah, know, exactly. giving them advice and helping them. I like that. Yeah, that's wonderful, actually. Yeah, I agree. Good friend, by the way, that you do that. Yeah. Nice. I like it. It's, kind of, um, it's funny sometimes. Mm -hmm. I had a disaster at the beginning of my time in Bologna because I had been invited to a wedding in November mm -hmm. and I got here in September mm. and I in my head before I was here I thought oh you know I won't get anything it was black tie I was like oh I won't get anything I'll just wait until I'm in Bologna and then I'll find some incredible secondhand suit that'll fit me perfectly it was a nightmare and obviously also I was trying to sort of sort out my whole life here in the end, I had to go to like Zara and just buy like, you know, like a cheap white dress shirt. And then I did manage to find like a secondhand jacket and some trousers, but they were not very nice and I will never wear them again. And it was terrible. It was oof. terrible. Big oof. I'm so sorry, my friend. Okay. It sounds like, like exactly like something I would do. 100%. <laughs> In my head, I thought it would be kind of romantic and fun to to come and then find find an outfit nope. in the city, but actually, I was quite busy with with moving to a new country. So it turned out I didn't have time to wander around all these vintage shops mm -hmm. for hours. Yeah. Ah, yeah, misadventure. A misadventure, exactly. Okay, really good job, guys. So this is good. Now, um, no, no, ah. So uh, what we are going to do is we are going to just look at this vocabulary, okay? Some things you can say in a shop. So go ahead and read this for me. Sure, sizes we have here. So it's too short, tight, mm -hmm. big, small, long, loose. Okay, so let's look at the opposites first. So in the comments, let us know what is the opposite of short? Mm. What is the opposite of short for clothes? So in the slide, <laughs> because for people it's tall, but for clothing or objects, it's a bit different, right? So, um, ah! so let us know in the comments. Speaking of short, I'm quite short. And one thing I do when I'm sitting in a chair is I like to have other chairs near me where I can put my feet because my legs are literally so short that, that, you need that uh, I can put my feet on other chairs yeah, uh, on the on the bottom. And then did you just accidentally kick it? Just I now? just, yeah, I just did that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm standing today. Are you straight up standing? Yeah. Did you not notice? I can. How am I supposed to know? No, I feel like the angle? Maybe not. Well, I wasn't really thinking, I wasn't evaluating your angle, but now that you mentioned it, I suppose you are coming to the ceiling from. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Ooh, okay, good. So, oh, good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So we have large, and what is, yeah, large is big, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's large. What is the opposite of big? And we have a question. Loose. Well, the easiest way into this, Luca, is to try and figure out the opposites. Because mm. maybe you know the opposite and then the loose will be clear. Mm -hmm. you, you can find the opposite. So yeah, let's so start yeah. with short. Mm -hmm. with that one. Yeah, short. so let's start with short. Yeah. So for example, if I wear a shirt, <laughs> a shirt, oh gosh. So if I wear a shirt, but the shirt, it stops maybe here, mm -hmm. okay? I might say, oh, right no, no, it's too short. Yeah. It's too short. So the opposite of short is how? Long. Long. So it's short and long. 
which like so you said is important when we're talking about clothes we don't say tall we use long mm -hmm. that's good so that's the opposite good job exactly then what is the opposite of tight so if something is tight it's very like yeah see if there's an example Oh, oh. <laughs> I can't move. That's too tight. Yeah, something's too mm -hmm. tight. But you get like tight fitted jeans, no? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, or tight fitted, yeah, trousers. Mm -hmm. I don't really like at all. That's perfect. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So tight is when the clothes are. They're close to your skin. I prefer loose clothes. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Yeah, and then we have left, big, easy. And big is the opposite of? So big or small. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm trying to think, there might be some other vocab we could use. Do you ever use the word baggy? Baggy. Yes. yes. I use that a lot with clothes, right? Mm -hmm. It's very similar to loose. Mm -hmm. um, it's basically the same meaning. It means mm -hmm. that when it when you're wearing it, there's lots of space. It's like a bag. It's like a bag, yeah. It's baggy. Mm -hmm. so a baggy shirt. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is where the loose clothes. Exactly. Yeah. It's exactly. It, you can also say baggy clothes. Baggy clothes. Baggy clothes. Yeah. Wrappers. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, yeah. So I do prefer loose clothes as well. Mm -hmm. I like things that are breezy. Breezy. So, that's lovely. Oh, thank you. Explain that. Yeah. Breezy is an adjective, and it means something that is loose but also flowing. So maybe. Flowing. The material is like quite delicate, and in the wind, it it's loose, it and it sort of flutters, it moves around you, and I like that. Yeah, it's it's very comfortable and yeah. also fashionable at the same time. When you buy clothes, do you think? What do you think about most? Do you think about um, the the like the color or the cut the size of it or the, mm. the feel of the material like what is in the i would say i i mean the first thing is like i look for an interesting design yeah. um i should think more about the color because i think that's the one thing i i tend to just go for basic black or okay. like something like a jewel tone like a blue or a red but i don't think those suit me as much as more spring colors mm. or even summers so I should think more about the color, but I always think about, yeah, the material and the mm -hmm. cuts really, and if yeah. it's got something unique about it that I like. Yeah, yeah okay. Mm -hmm. Me too, me too. The cut, we mm -hmm. should explain, right? the cut is the shape essentially, like, mm -hmm. yeah, the shape of clothes. We talk about the cut of a shirt, like how it mm -hmm. looks when you put it on, if the mm -hmm. cut fits you well, looks good on you or not, the shape mm -hmm. of the clothing. Mm -hmm. uh, and that for me, well, that's why, like we said, I find online so online shopping so impossible because sometimes mm -hmm. I'll see something that is my size, looks really good, and then I'll put it on, and, and the, for some reason, the cut is just terrible. Like it, mm -hmm. it doesn't sit correctly on me. And obviously, when you're shopping online, you can't. I don't know how people do it. Yeah. I guess people become really familiar with a particular brand or something mm -hmm. online and they know that the, the clothes, the cut of the clothes suit them. Mm -hmm. I don't have the patience. Life's yeah. so short. Me either. Yeah, I, for me, the cut is super important because I don't have, like I have a semi-standard body shape, but not really. So mm -hmm. I have like, for me, I feel like I'm more, I have more of a classical body shape. So I'm quite short and I'm a bit curvier, right? So for me, things that are trendy now and not right. vintage, so things that have like are, are quite tight around the waist. Um, they don't really suit me so so much. I need things that are tight around the upper waist, around the rib, because I have quite a nice shape there. But I need to find, but but nothing around the abdomen because that right. that's not a good look for me. So I think um, 
it's about like knowing the kind of garments that like you know work for you. So things right. that like, have a high waist or things that have like are cinched up here or ha are gathered at the ankle, that kind of thing is really flattering on me. And it takes mm -hmm. me some time to find those things because they're not they're not trendy now. They were right. trendy in the eighties. <laughs> Trendy, that's lovely as well. Trendy, fashionable, right? Yeah, fashionable. trendy means fashionable. Trendy, a trend, it is on trend. Mm -hmm. fashionable. Trend. Yeah, you would say trendy means fashionable as we now. Have five minutes. Mm -hmm. Five minutes. Wow. Right. Mm -hmm. We have five minutes, guys. So um, you can, yeah. good. If you have any questions for us, let us know. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Maybe Any of your questions. You want do you want to go back over loads of the, because it's quite a big thing in clothing, which is the UK, US. Mm. I just thought of another one, which is I never, ever say sneakers. I would never say that. They're trainers. Trainers. Trainers, always trainers. So, um, trainers, UK. So, ah, sneakers. And sneakers in the USA. Exactly. Mm. Yeah, so we have trainers in the UK, sneakers, the USA, joggers in the UK, right. and then we have sweatpants in the USA, okay? And also, let's, let's keep going. Um, pants, trousers, oh, no. Pa Hold on. Uh, pants, pants or underwear. Underwear, yeah, yeah. Where? We'll go that way, yeah. Okay, okay. But in America, right. in the USA, we have... Uh, pant, um, pants are trousers and jeans. Right. Um, okay. And then jumper sweater mm -hmm. as well. Okay. And then it's a sweater in the USA. Ta -da. Mm -hmm. What else? What else? I sometimes say sweater though. That one for some reason has, I've taken that one. Here's another uh, one that might be interesting. Suspenders yeah. in the USA are braces. Oh, yes. In the UK. This is true. So you know the straps that men can wear, you can attach them to the pants, men wear them, and they go over the shoulder. Yeah. Um, those are suspenders in the USA and, ah, and braces in the UK. In America, in the USA, braces are what you put on your teeth to make them straight. Right. right. <laughs> well, confusingly, we also say braces for teeth, but we use the same word for this. Mm -hmm. So okay. you just have to know from context. I guess sometimes someone is wearing both braces and braces, but... Um, Do you have a different word for hoodie, or is it the same in both? No, we say hoodie. We say yeah. hoodie. I don't think there's another word. Um, I have a personal distaste of hoodies. I don't know why. I can't stand them. You hate hoodies? Ever, like ever, 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 ever. I like I hoodies. As we say, I wouldn't be seen dead. Yeah, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be seen, or I wouldn't be caught dead. That's another good one. Um, um, wouldn't. No way. But yeah, Olga, it's hoodie in the USA and UK. In. Okay. It means that you would. You would never wear, never, never, ever, 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 ever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like for I example, why. For me, I would never, ever, ever be caught dead in cashmere. Kill me oh. now. It's too sweaty. I hate it. Sure, sure. But you wouldn't be embarrassed if you like. For me, the if you say I wouldn't be caught dead, it implies it suggests that you. That you like don't like the look like oh no i would never wear that but i guess cashmere is different because you i don't know would you be embarrassed about the or do you think you look bad in it or is it just the feeling for you personally it's too sweaty yeah it's too sweaty so maybe yeah. i would be caught dead in it <laughs> maybe die having died of, of overheating yeah, yeah literally <laughs> i'm done <laughs> of heat stroke from the cashmere because i think it's actually quite cute and vintage but i just i can't wear it um right. i'll die I need the material to be light or else. I, and if it's winter, I just layer. So I have light mm -hmm. material, but I'll just wear like leggings or stockings under like light. Ah, okay, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. I have a friend who's Namibian who does exactly that because mm -hmm. she's so used to the heat. 
Mm -hmm. That when she told the country, she was just she looks amazing, but she just wears so many layers. Mm -hmm. She really doesn't like wearing a big cashmere jumper or something at mm -hmm. all. I understand. Yeah. I do get it. Okay, so we're almost finished, guys. One last thing. Uh, be sure to check out our Facebook page. Okay, it's called My As Aso As English. If you have any other questions about clothing or clothing vocabulary, any grammar points that you might have some questions or doubts about, you can go to Maya's SOS English, hit that like button, and then you can ask any question your heart desires, teachers will answer you. Okay, I'm, exactly. I'm Hal, this was Kate, and <laughs> just kidding, um, we will see you guys later. See you soon, guys. Have a lovely afternoon. Have a